everyone and welcome back to the wild wild north where we are currently in the meadow of horses setting up our little homestead and really trying to make this into an amazing farming community except it's going a little bit slow when siri keeps falling down caverns however i have some exciting progress to show you including look behind us you guys it's our very first tomatoes our very first tomatoes have grown i am so excited about that and check it out this is our house i actually tore down the entire other house after I saw a really cool inspirational um, post about farmhouses in Minecraft and I was like oh, I want that I want the raised porch I want the cool little like cool little understory thing it just called to me it called to me and it called for plants being put all over it and we're gonna have like a nice porch and it's gonna look like an awesome farmhouse we can add multiple stories it'll be fantastic also we have some chicks I had a stack of eggs in my inventory and I just kind of threw them down and a couple chicks hatched so I have a temporary chick holding pen hi cutie pie hi but it's so exciting because we have sunflower oh and sunflower's um possible mate is uh walking around quite a bit I really like him I think she likes him too was that a flying slime I think a slime that was a flying slime <laughs> I love our view. I mean, look at the view from our home. We're on our porch and we can see where we're eventually going to terraform a beautiful forest over here. There's a nice lake. We might add in like more little rivers. We can see our adorable chickens. And then you can see the double slime island. You can see the beautiful willow tree with the little deer dancing around under it. And then this is where we're going to have like our fields, our automated farming fields. So we can look out from the bedroom window, which will be right over here. And we can just stare at our beautiful fields and off into the distance will be the little village and our little our little sentinels, our wonderful little scarecrow sentinels. So I'm really happy. I'm really loving how this is going, but I ran out of oak. So we need to go get some oak. And then today, I also wanted to take a quick break from the homestead and to use sunflower to collect up all of the zebras. Oh, look, there's another slime. That's fine. <laughs> That's amazing. We just get to watch Falling Slime from the Double Slime Island. That is so cool. And how awesome is a Double Slime Island? Like, how often does that happen? It has to be, like, good luck or something. Maybe maybe we can bottle the slime, Sunflower, and sell it as good luck slime. You know, rub it all over your face. Go take your biology test. Pass it with flying colors. You know, you know, mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. All right, and then let's feed the puppies. So good morning, Tate. Good morning, Pine. Good morning, Lily girl. Let's get you guys all fed up. Some wonderful chicken, sweet potatoes, and peas. No offense, uh, chickens. It's just the cycle of life. And we, I ha all I have for breakfast is like a little bit of strawberries. So we're going to nibble our strawberries. And today we are going to, oh, we're also going to harvest our tomatoes. And then today we are going to go around and collect all of the zebra that we can find in the area. I will show you guys where the eventual quagga sanctuary is going to be, where we're going to put our quagga reserve. And you remember that stack and a half of quagga embryos we have? Yeah, we're going to use all of those and we're going to make a giant field of quagga herds just running around. It's going to be fantastic. And let's see. Oh, and then also just to let you guys know, uh, when you see these videos, I am actually going to be out of town. So I decided I'm going to work on figuring out how to set up the machinery and building the house and kind of getting like the pathways started, that kind of basic stuff. I'm going to work on that when I'm out of town for about four days. And then when we come back, you guys will see the progress. So it won't be the boring stuff. But don't worry, for those of you who like that, we will be doing more building and side quest building and exploring later because some people really love it. All right. There's that handsome, I swear, he's just like a very handsome chocobo. I like him for sunflower. And we're going to come down here. And what we need, because I'm tr having trouble figuring out like a naturalistic, oh, ferns. I love ferns. I'm having trouble figuring out like a nice naturalistic way to get the sunflower or the sugar cane growing so that we can spread it around. Um, There we go. Put those back down so that we can spread it around and harvest the uh, the sugarcane for making paper. Because I want to make like a, a sugarcane farm, but in my head, sugarcane farms are like not in a farming community that grows tomatoes. So I'm having a hard time figuring that out, but I'll think about it. Ooh, and are you guys ready? It's going to be our first tomato, our very first tomato. Oh, I'm so excited. 
first tomato! We have our very first tomato! Oh my goodness! Look how beautiful it is! What can we do with you, you amazing little thing? We can make tomato stock, tomato soup, we can make spaghetti, we can make ketchup, we can make chicken parmesan, spring salad, pizza. Oh my gosh, we should have like a pizza night with the guys. Or like make a pizzeria somewhere. Oh, that would be so cool. Stuffed peppers. I love stuffed peppers. It's so yummy. Eggplant parmesan. Oh, foot long wholesome sandwiches. <gasps> that sounds so delicious. Oh my gosh, that's a wholesome feast. So that would fill us up. Oh my gosh, look at all that. All because of the humble tomato. So that's fantastic. Let's go ahead and harvest up. Oop, oop, and whatever these are are ready too. Are those our, our soybeans? <gasps> they are soybeans, which means I can finally have my alternative to eating meat. Because you can use the soybeans to make, uh, let's see, let's see if I can find it. Uh, uh, soybeans. You can use the soybeans to make tofu. I think you have to put it like in a presser. Let me see, tofu. Yeah, there's the tofu, firm tofu. Um, and I think you have to like put it inside the presser that you put the um, the honey into. So that's very exciting because I need soybeans. I actually want it. Soybeans are one of the things I want to see if we can grow in the planter, the automatic planter. So we'll have to see if that works. I don't know if the two mods are compatible, so we might have to do soybean fields by hand. And yes, this is our Twilight Forest portal. I am going to kind of rope it off with uh, some hedges and maybe put like a magic tree outside of it. And we're gonna make that kind of like our secret garden. We might even have like a little fence and something around it. Mr. Cow, do be careful. If you wander in there, you're gonna be in for a bit of a surprise. Yes, a bit of a surprise indeed. All right, so we've got our soybeans. What's this? Oh, it's a pea plant. I didn't know we had a pea plant here. And is that, a, it's a peanut. All right, so I'm going to plant more tomatoes and more peas. I'm gonna get more tomatoes. Our very first tomatoes go back in the ground to make more tomatoes. Let's see, everybody good over here? Good, 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 and there. And we're good, wonderful. Well, that makes me happy. I feel like a little a productive farmer. I still want to spend some of my my coins on getting the cow outfit when we're farming, at least the hat. So when we run around, we can we can at least look like a little farming cow. And our chick chicks are doing good. We got to give them like stuff to eat and various things. So we'll look into that too. But for now, let's go ahead and round up our zebras. Oh yeah! And then check this out. I was just minding my own business building and then we got a king slime! No, Lily. No. I want to keep him. They're all trying to attack him. It's a king slime. So we managed to catch ourselves one of the king slimes. And Kaffers has King Ethel Blue. So maybe this is a queen slime for all we know. We'll have to give it a cool name and then see if we can keep it alive. Um, Cause that's just, that's just really cool. All right. And let's go ahead and we're going to go catch as many zebra as we can. This is also a zebra and we're going to go release them at our safari zone because the zebra are confused. They're in the wrong place. They don't need to be here in the meadow of horses. This is the meadow of horses, not the, not the, the zebra safari zone. So we're going to be nice and we're going to help the zebra out by catching as many of them as we can and putting them in our safari zone. So today, today, my friends, we are safari rangers. And zebra actually travel in like giant herds together, so it's going to be fun. Sorry about that snake. It's going to be fun to put the zebra uh, in our safari zone. We're going to have to... Oh, that's a cobra! Had to dodge that really quickly. Oh, we should probably... Is it over here now? Oh, it is. Okay. Oh my gosh, there's two of them. Okay. Sunflower, it's slightly dangerous over here of the fanged variety. All right, let's see. Any more zebra? Nope. But look at this horse. Oh, you beautiful creature. Oh my gosh, I love him. All right, we can come over here. Whoops, sorry about that sunflower. Oh, there's another zebra. And we're actually getting close to where the quagga reserve, the quagga sanctuary is going to be. Oh, there's another bird tree. I love the bird trees. They're just so cool. Pardon me, zebra. I feel like the herd had has gotten scattered. The zebra herd was migrating. And they got, they got a little bit confused and scattered. Oh my gosh, there's so many zebra. We're going to have so many. This is going to be awesome. All right, come here. All right, we've got five zebra so far. And I'm running low on safari nets. I have to keep one reusable safari net for sunflower. 
So let's see. All right, come here, sunflower. And then this is actually where I want to have the quagga reserve. I want to rope this area off with a fence. Oh, there's another zebra. And then, because I think it would look amazing down here. Um, maybe that's too close to the, the farmland, though, because we also have right over here a big, beautiful barley area. So I wonder if we should just put the, the zebra, like, in this section instead, because it's already all prepared. Or, I mean the quagga, the quagga over here. It is already all prepared for them and everything. Hmm. I might have to think about that. Because this would give them fields and fields and fields to run in. And we would just have to, like, isolate some of the area. So that they didn't, they didn't get out. Yeah, I think actually we'll just go ahead and we'll put the quagga reserve over here. And the farming town will come up against the border of those mountains and then there'll be like a little a little tram or something some little way maybe like a nice beautiful bridge that maybe spans like you could walk like oh what if we did like a halfway in the mountain sort of sort of path so you got to see all this beautiful naturalistic mountain with the ostriches and everything and like walk behind that waterfall and then maybe ride a tram like down towards where the quagga sanctuary is and there could be like a little a little hut over here so you can sleep and get some food and whatnot that might be nice we'll figure it out but i like that area for making a quagga reserve and just breeding all of the quagga we have all right let's settle back down there's so many zebra there's one right here i just want all the zebra out of the middle of horses come on sunflower we're so close come here zebra you are not a horse, you are a zebra. Uh, you're okay. Come here. There we go. Oh, we've got some stuck friends down here, so let's go ahead and help everyone get free. Bun bun. There we go. Alright, don't need that, don't need that. Now you guys can get out if you want to. See? There you go, guys. I always feel better helping them out. Ow! Who's attacking me? Oh, that's the gratitude I get? Rude. Come on, Sunflower, let's get out of here. We've got a rude boar on our tail. Alright. Any other zebra? Oh, there's an Enderman. Oh, man, I have not seen many of those. That's like the second Enderman I've ever seen on our server. There's a bazillion ostrich. We will be removing the ostrich at some point, too. Oh, here's a zebra. Alright, let's settle down. Hello, my friend! I'm going to take you to where your other friends are. Come here. I gotcha. And there's a zebra. And then we used up all of our safari nets. So, come here. Alright, got him. Alright, now let's jump on Sunflower. We're going to pop over to our safari zone. And we'll continue the zebra operations. See, there's more zebra over here. They do not belong here. Villagers, what are you doing outside? It is nighttime. You guys need to, like haul bunny hunkers and get inside before the zombies show up. Alright, and we need to go to Minecraft International Zoo right over here which is also where we keep our zebra and our lions! Look at that! But This is our multi-species exhibit with Mammoth. I think he still needs help. I'm sorry, Mammoth. We will work on that. Oh, and I love that we built this little bridge here except the ostriches get stuck. I will work on that too. Oh, they can get out. I just watched one get out. That was pretty cool. But this is the multi-species exhibit where we keep the zebra, where we keep the uh, elephants and the ostriches. We need to make it much, much, much bigger. Hey, Casey, how are you doing? Oh, so cool. So cool. Goodness, goodness, the ostriches are such an interesting addition to our elephant exhibit. This used to be just the elephant exhibit, but I'm going to turn it into a multi-species exhibit. Um, also, there's a wolf. Hmm. Here you go, Zebra. You guys are going to be much happier here with your own kind, I promise. So we're rounding up the zebra. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we're going to have to make this, this area a lot bigger. Oops, sunflower. <laughs> I popped the sunflower out instead. That was funny. It's like, that's not a zebra. Look at all of them. See, I knew they would be happier if they could herd together. Getting a little water. I remember when we put that clay down there, the elephants are like, whoa. Noisy additions. Hello, everybody. Oh, 
Look at the zebra herd traveling together. That's so nice. Oh, so many zebra. So many zebra. Oh, look at all you guys. That's so nice. I actually really love seeing them in a big herd like that. And then I saw a wolf. I cannot leave a wolf in here. It will try to eat our zebra. Those guys don't despawn in the morning either. Uh 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 uh. You're ruining my barley field, sir. I'm so sorry, Mr. Wolf. All right. <laughs> and a little bit of strawberries. So that makes me really happy. Let's go see if there's any other zebra that we need to relocate to put into the correct biomes. Come along, sunflower. You are in your little safari net. That is good. I think we have plenty of ostriches because they actually are. We actually might have to manage the ostrich population. I say that as gently as possible because the ostriches actually do breed and too many ostriches can cause mega bad crashy lag. So we might have to consider that. Mm -hmm. What are you guys doing outside? They are very silly villagers, Sunflower. Let's go sleep in our bed so that they'll, they'll be safe. Because I have to take care of those guys. They're my responsibility now. Oh, there's a zebra. Hey, guys. Hello, my loves. All right, we're going to come over here and snooze. Oh, but I love it. Like, we're coming into this wild area, and taming is a strong word. But we are assisting in relocating animals to more suitable biomes. I really think the, the story is the zebra herd. Ooh, this is a blueberry bush. Come here, blueberry bush. I'm going to put this in with the chickens so they have some blueberries to eat. Hey, baby chick chicks. I gave you some blueberries. Oh, that makes me happy. All right, let's find any other zebra in the area. Because this is meadow of horses, not meadow of zebra. Uh, oh, my. That's some interesting things going on there. That is a skeleton with a couple wolves, like as his companion. Hmm. That is really cool. I actually want to catch that skeleton. Come here. All right, and the wolf isn't immediately attacking us because it's, it's being too slow about it. But I want the skeleton because he's got armor and everything on. He looks really cool. Oh, it's the evil, the evil stinging nettle. See, we've, we've been helping this area in bits and pieces. Is that another slime? No, that's our double slime island. I was going to be like, holy days, there's lots of slime islands. All right, let's see if we can get more zebra. Uh, no chick chick. All right, let's see. Ostriches, you guys are in the wrong place too. This place should be... Ah! Sunflower, I'm sorry! It was the evil stinging nettle! Oh, darling, I'm so sorry. She has a lot to say about that. She's like, Mom, I can fly for a reason. Ooh, I think we've got most of the zebra. Good, they can be happy in their little herd where they belong. Let's see, any over here? No, a lot of wolves, though. We might need to, like, have some help keeping the wolves from bothering... Oh, there's one more zebra. From bothering our villagers. Apparently I'm poisoned. Did I just walk in stinging nettle? Okay. Interesting. All right, we'll check just along this last edge. There's an elephant. Interesting. What are you doing over here, little one? I think it's a forest elephant, though. Oh, and I heard a cat. And that's a polar bear. You know, we haven't done Arctic exhibits yet, either. All right, I think we got all of the zebra. So that actually makes me very happy, because I feel like they are... <gasps> The, the wolves are killing everybody! No wolves! No! Oh my gosh! Where's the other wolf? Well, I guess he can go... I wonder if the wolf and the skeleton like have some sort of story together. So they can, they can stay with each other, because that actually is really cool. We're going to have to come up with a cool story for those two wolves and that skeleton. We'll give them names and we'll put them in the stronghold. We've got to start working on the stronghold, because we're ending up... Hang on, Sunflower, I'll be right back. We're ending up with so many creatures that belong in the stronghold, and they all have such really interesting stories. I gotta put a carpenter's thing there. Alright. 
Let's pop in here and let's add our last two zebra. I feel so much better having the zebra out of that area. I'm going to have to get the ostriches out of the area too. That might involve a little bit of sword action, alas. There we go. Because ostrich populations really do get out of hand and they really do cause horrific lag on the server. So, Dandy might be buying a lot of ostrich meat from us pretty soon. Which I feel a little bit ambiguous about. But you gotta be realistic about how many how many critters can be here at once. You know, it's like it's like if you if you don't um, tend to population management, they will overeat everything, and that would be tragic. Also, I've been thinking about collecting the deer and making like a big forest exhibit, not just our little deer exhibit. Oh, I should have brought sunflower because I wanted to get some of those magic trees. Ah, uh, we'll do that in a little bit. But all right, you guys, now we are going to pop back to the meadow of horses. And now that we have removed all of the zebra, so I feel better about that, I want to go tame some horses. So I actually want, I brought a lot of saddles and everything, and I actually want to go tame that gray horse, I think. I think he was very handsome. So we're going to work on taming a couple horses next time and trying to breed some of our horses to get to the next tier of horses. And also keeping an eye on Sunflower's potential mate. I think he's a handsome bird indeed. So I will see you guys bright and early in the morning tomorrow as we continue our work here in the Meadow of Horses, doing quite a bit of uh, extra stuff, but it is finally time. Finally time to go and breed some new horses. So we'll do that next time, and I will see you guys then. And I got more tomatoes! Yay! And I have more tomatoes. I actually want to build like a little pantry in the basement of this area. <gasps> and more soybeans! Oh, joy be! But I want to build, like, in our kitchen up here, we'll have, like, stairs that go upstairs and then stairs that go downstairs, too. So you go downstairs, and it'll take you into, like, an underground pantry, and it, we're just going to have, like, shelves and shelves stocked with, like, what I will call canned tomatoes. <laughs> So I'm really looking forward to that. We'll just have shelves and shelves stocked because I'm from farming and pioneer family and holy days do those families ever keep really big food stocks. So I'm excited. This is going to be our little farmhouse. We've got to deck it up quite a bit. This is our humble, humble beginnings. Whoops. Our humble beginnings. And we're going to have to see just where we end up after this. So I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.